In today's episode, we're talking about something quintessentially 90s. So depending on where you grew up, you might remember watching American Gladiators, or maybe you watched the UK version. But unless you were in Australia during a brief 18 month window of the mid 90s, you probably won't know that we had our very own Australian Gladiators. What's going on guys? I appreciate you tuning in to today's episode. Like I mentioned at the top, today we're diving into the Australian version of the sports entertainment program Gladiators, something that was a staple of my TV viewing in the mid 90s. So when Gladiators launched here in Australia in early 1995, I was still very much into the World Wrestling Federation and I think Gladiators appealed to me much in the same way that wrestling did. Towering athletes, larger than life characters and physical competition with cheesy promos and trash talk. You think having seven children's an experience? Wait till you enter the gauntlet. It was the perfect mid-90s Saturday night television and I absolutely loved it. But despite that, I've not covered it in any great detail on my channel because it's not often that I come across much in the way of toys or merchandise, but today all that changes because my buddy Dean from Totally Taylor Retro Hunters and I were back at it again with another toy draft. Because a little while back I saw an eBay listing pop up for what appeared to be an Australian Gladiators show bag complete with all of its contents. Now if you're not aware a show bag is basically a themed bag of novelties like cheap toys, snacks or other merchandise that's a popular part of large shows here in Australia like the Royal Easter Show. Basically our equivalent of state fairs in the US. And whatever was popular at the time, whether it was cartoons or movies or TV shows, there was usually themed show bags to go with it. And Gladiators was no exception. And when I saw this listing pop up, it included four carded action figures released by Krona in 1995, along with other merchandise like a drink bottle and a wallet, as well as the show bag itself. And if there's one bloke that loved Gladiators as much as I did, it's Dino. So when I saw this listing pop up, I thought it would be the perfect lot for us to scoop up and share out between us. So let's link up with Dino and let's draft it out. Gladiators. Alrighty guys, I'm here once again with my mate Dino from Totally Taylor Retro Hunters. How you going guys? How are you? And, and as I mentioned, we've done it again. We've gone Harvey's in a mad little lot of 90s toys, and we're just going to draft it out. And, and as you would have heard me speak about, it's a, it's a fun lot of Gladiators items, specifically Australian Gladiators items that, to the best of our knowledge, came in a show bag. Uh, some 1995 action figures by Krona that would have been hanging about, packaged up with some just some fun merch items that... Uh, most of which are dated 1996. So to the best of our knowledge, this would have been a 1996 show bag, just packed full of Australian Gladiators goodness. There's about maybe 10 or 12 items here. We're gonna draft it out. I'm gonna let Dino go first because he uh, gave me that honor on the Turtles accessories draft. And I know how much Dino loves Aussie Gladiator. So we'll let him go first. We've got four carded figures and then we've got the merch. So I'll let Dino take it away and we'll go back and forth and uh, let's see what we can secure for our Australian Gladiators collections. That's it. First, thanks for having me. Um, we're getting quite good at these uh, draft pickups together. Well, we're making we're just, a habit of it and uh, <laughs> we need to keep that going because it's 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 a fun way to do it, man. Yeah, yeah it's no, awesome. it's definitely, this is, this is very enjoyable. Um, as Scott said, there's there's four carded figures here, but there's a whole bunch of merch from Showbag. So I'm going to start off with um, the Commando figure. So I do have a fair few of these loose um, Gladiators figures in my collection, including one of the Americans and a bootleg. but. Um, Commando has eluded me, so happy to take him and put him in the collection. That's awesome. Dean did mention that Commando is one of his favourites. Yeah, so. I always liked his name because of the Arnold Schwarzenegger movie Commando. Yeah. Um, badass, 80s, 90s, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Hell so yeah. Why wouldn't you want that name? So. Yeah, when choosing names, I think he, he definitely nailed it. Yeah. So that, that is awesome. So I'm going to keep the trend going with the figures. And I'm going to grab a figure that was one of my favorites from my childhood. And I've got to be honest, I'm kind of in two minds here. My two favorites as a kid were Vulcan and Taipan. Listen, I've got a lot of love for Tower <laughs> as well. So I'm going to be happy whichever way we go here. But I think that I'm actually going to go Taipan just because the card is slightly crisper. The bubble is in really nice shape. So I'm going to go Taipan, King of the Rings. The King of the Rings, Taipan. 
that's going to be my first pick. We've got Taipan on a really nice card. So that's going to be a welcome addition to my collection. All right, second pick. Going to have to stay with the carded figures and bring Vulcan into the collection. So what was Vulcan? Vulcan is big and bad and he's about to get a lot worse. So how cool is that? Yeah, Vulcan's awesome. When I think Australian gladiators, like Vulcan is the personality that stands out most to me. He, he was one of the guys that just always kept in character maintain the trash talk whether he won or lost and uh, i always appreciated that like i mentioned earlier as a wrestling fan so um because it was that same sort of approach cutting promos talking trash and vulcan yeah. did that really well so especially when they uh, when they lost yeah 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 like throwing a fit being all surly <laughs> and stuff not, not you know no no shaking hands saying good game I, I always liked it when they kept the same energy afterwards give me the mic you know what i'm getting really sick of this you know what all the men in the audience, all the men in the crew, they're just jealous of me because other women love me. Alrighty, so finishing off the carded figures, I'm going to pick up the remaining figure in Tower. Uh, definitely one of the more sort of familiar faces to me from watching Gladiators back in the day. I, I honestly think that this show bag probably had the four most notable yeah. Gladiators in terms of like my memory of watching the show back in the day, being Taipan, Vulcan, Commando and Tower. So I'm really happy to have Tower and, and Taipan in the collection. That's awesome. Now, the, the cards have been punched, so I'm in the process of installing a little um, peg and hook uh, system on my wall of my collection room, just like what Dino's got going on here. So these are going to slot onto those hooks nicely and just display great. So yeah, really happy to have the carded Tower in my Gladiators collection. You know, what's funny is the Australian Gladiator has never had a female Gladiator made. Yeah. Or that we could even find That's any right. information on. So, it, it is interesting though because the card backs don't show, have a cross sell of the other figures in the line. They show some of the play sets, but nothing. not the figures. Yep. And so, who knows? Maybe they did release in small numbers some female gladiators, but I would probably guess not. All right. So for my third item, and we're going to move into sort of the merchandise um, pieces that are in the show bag. Uh, I'm going to pick this lovely 1996 Velcro pull gladiators wallet. Um, I would have rocked this so good back in the day. Heck I could yeah. probably rock it now. <laughs> yeah, but, that, uh, that's my that's my pick. The Velcro wallet is just a classic. I mean, it's just awesome, man. It's just pure nineties. The Velcro wallet with whatever you're into at the time, whether it was turtles or wrestling or gladiators, just emblazoned on the front. That that's a great piece, and it's obviously still sealed and uh, just just going to display beautifully. Are you gonna you gonna keep it in that sealed baggie? Oh, I gotta open it. You gotta open it. I have to have a look. It's only a bit of tape. No, yeah, yeah. You can you can open that. This up one's just a bit of tape. Damage. Yeah. Alrighty. I'm honestly pleased with your pick, Dino, because the item of merch that I most wanted is is oh. this dumbbell drink bottle. I absolutely love this thing. Again, like another staple of show bags and another staple of like 80s and 90s merch is just the branded sports bottle that you'd take to soccer training, football training, whatever you're into, in the dumbbell shape. And I just think this is going to display great with some of the loose gladiators figures. Say. That I've got. Displaying that next to them. Definitely. Perfect. So I, I've got to go with the drink bottle as my next pick. All right, round four, and I'm going to be going with the still factory sealed um, dueling stick. So these are inflatable um, dueling stick. I think there's one in there. I'm not going to open this um, now just because it's factory sealed. I just want to leave it in all its beauty. It's been there for 30 years, so why yeah. not leave it in there? But this is from the event Jewel um, blow up stick. They would just hit each other and try to knock them off the podium. So, um, yeah, gonna add that into the collection. And unfortunately, that's a great pick, but unfortunately this item is not sealed with a little piece of tape like no. that wallet. So if you open that up, it's it's forever opened. But, that's it. I mean, look, it, it's it's a cool piece to have, and it would display great in the collection room, like inflated to, to really show it off, but I don't blame you if you want to keep it sealed no. as well. I'm just curious, is there one or two in here? I'd love to have two, then I could really have a go <laughs> Dude, if there's if there's actually two in there and like a red one and a, and a blue one that would be mad yeah alrighty for my next pick I've got to go with just another 90s classic with the bum bag unfortunately just way too small to have a hope of getting around my waist or shoulder <laughs> definitely kid size but again just like a, another staple of the 90s the branded bum bag and again like another piece that I think will display really nicely with the drink bottle and with some loose figures so yeah, I'm really, really happy to have that. And again, like another one of these pieces that's dated 1996, uh, which, if I remember correctly, was, was the last season that Gladiators aired in Australia. 
Yeah, there were only there were only two, wasn't there? Yeah, I so, think there was two ninety five, ninety six. So it felt like it went for a decade. But isn't that isn't that the case with everything from back yeah. then? Like TV <laughs> series that only ran for a few episodes or a season, like. I felt like we watched them for months and yeah. months, but anyways, it is what it is. That that's a really cool piece. I'm definitely happy with with the bum bag. Very as well. nice, very nice. So the last two items that we have on the table here, and I'm going to pick the most nostalgic item for this whole collection, and it's just a way for me to keep them all safe. Is I'm going to actually go with the show bag, um, just the cover art on this, just the history behind this show bag. I I, I just. I can't not. No, that, I, so. look, I, Sorry I think. Sorry if you wanted to. No, 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 no. I think that's that's the obvious pick. Um, if if all of these items did come in that in a show bag, in that show bag, as as we suspect, then it's it's pretty awesome to have the show bag yeah. with them. And also, you know, how many of these survived? How many of these didn't end up in the trash? I mean, these show bags really weren't designed to be kept. So <laughs> no. it's it's a definitely a really cool piece. So yeah. Happy days. Awesome. And that leaves me with this little tower, little plush toy punching bag, whatever it is. I, I, I think it's awesome. And and I can just hang this from a little corner of the collection room. It won't take up any space on a shelf. You can hang it in the car. I can hang it in the car. Yeah. How about that? In lieu of an air freshener, I've got a tower <laughs> hanging from my rear vision mirror. So yeah, that is awesome. Really happy to finish it off with a little plush tower toy. So there we go. And how about that? That Very was awesome. Nice. That was great. Another another successful draft. Great pieces to add into our collection. Absolutely. Let's let's keep it going. I love it. Hundred percent, right? So there you have it, guys. Some pretty unique pieces that I'm stoked to now have in my collection. First up, we've got the two carded action figures from 1995 in Taipan and Tower, who just happen to be two of my favorite gladiators. So I'm stoked to have these guys now in the collection. And while it's awesome to have some carded examples for the sake of nostalgia, I've got to admit there's not a heck of a lot to these figures. They all use the exact same body mold, so the challengers are just as jacked as the gladiators. And these two figures in Taipan and Tower are just straight repaints of Wolf and Warrior from the UK line of gladiators released by Hornby, repackaged by Krona with the exact same accessory. So definitely not the highest quality action figures, but I'm really stoked to have them in my collection. And interestingly, like Dean and I mentioned, in the absence of a detailed cross-sell on the back of the card or a comprehensive checklist online, we don't really know the full extent of Krona's Australian Gladiators toy line above and beyond the seven male Gladiators that I've personally come across, as well as the Challenger figure and then the Jewel and Atlasphere playsets shown on the back of the card. So who knows what else they released, it's going to be interesting to see if in time either Dean or myself come across other figures in the line that we didn't know existed. That's the fun of trying to track down some of these more obscure action figure lines. And then action figures aside, we've got the merch. Firstly with the awesome dumbbell shaped drink bottle and then with the equally cool Gladiators bum bag or fanny pack depending on what you call it. And I'm super stoked to have both of these items in my collection. This draft worked out super well because both Dean and I managed to score the items that we've been eyeing off. Prior to the draft, these were the two pieces of merch that appealed to me most. So I'm super happy to get them both for my Gladiators collection. And then of course we bring it home with the vinyl tower plush toy which is also a pretty sweet addition to my growing Aussie Gladiators collection. But with all that, that'll do us for today's video. A big shout out to Dino for a fun day and I'm hoping we can continue to make this a regular routine because I really enjoyed it. Likewise, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you made it this far, you're a dead set champion. I hope to hear from you in the comments. Let us know if you grew up watching Gladiators, whether it was the Australian version or whichever version you had, would love to hear from you there. As always, you're more than welcome to hit us up on Instagram at Crusher Collects. I'll see you back soon for the next one, and until then, cheers. <laughs>